Okay, in this tutorial I'd like to show you how I use Photoshop to automate uh, the creation of a web file to display my photos. So to do this you have to move from Photoshop and go into Bridge and there's a little icon in the upper right hand corner that uh, if you hover over it, it says go to Bridge, you just click on that and it opens Bridge. Now in Bridge you may open up to the favorites folders uh, I click on the folder button and I'll navigate to where my pictures are found. In this particular case I've got a folder of pictures of my father-in-law and the main amount of work uh, for automating this process is just to go in and add some information so Photoshop knows how to include that information in the web page that you build. So let's click on this first one here, which in the display window shows a picture of Ted, and it gives the title that I gave it, which is 1927 Ted Callan, and he's standing at a table, and he looks rather cute. Well, if I go to the me metadata tab over here, um, and yours probably will open up with start at file properties, it shows your file name, the file type, and a lot of different information about the picture, including its dimensions. Uh, but if you keep dropping down, you'll find a field that says description. If you click over here in the description field, you can type in information about the picture. So in this particular case, I might put uh, Ted Callan in 1927. Isn't he cute? Okay, so the nice thing about that is that metadata is kept with the picture. So if I were to copy this picture off into any place else, I now have a description in the description field. So you'd want to do that for each of your photographs in the folder that you want to publish to the web. And I've already gone ahead and done that for these pictures. It's important here at this point then to note how many pictures you have and to select them. So in this particular case, I've got about 10 pictures. I and I want to include those into a web page. So in Bridge, if I go up to Tools and select Photoshop and then drop down in this mini menu to Web Photo Gallery, it brings up the Photo Gallery uh, input screen. And from the Photo Gallery, you can select a number of different types of uh, web pages to build. I've simply selected a th simple thumbnail table because I like that format for myself. But you can select whatever you like and it shows a little preview over here of what that would look like. You notice since I've had selected images in Bridge, it knows that that's the source for my images and I have to tell it where I would like to save those. So in this case I already have a folder called Photoshop Web that I'll put these the output fi files into. Once that is set up, I need to set up my options. And if you notice in this drop-down menu, there's several options to set. The first one being general options is what to call um, the web pages, what file extension, and whether you want to add width and height attributes for the images. So I, I like to add that, so I click that box. As far as the title, uh, this one I'm going to call Bob's Photographs of Ted. I uh, don't want a date, so I'll take that out. You can put the photographer's name, contact information, and so forth in there as whatever suits you. Uh, for large images, when you click on the thumbnail, it's going to bring up a large picture. And what size do you want those? So you can select here either some standards. I have selected large pictures at 450 pixels wide. I want to constrain both my height and width. And I would like a JPEG quality of high. And you can make this 8, 10, or 12, depending on the file size that you would like to have for your large pictures. You can have a border on your pictures. I choose not to. And then this is important for the titles. Where does it find information about it? And that's why you typed in your description field of your metadata. And I've selected that for the source for my titles. Under thumbnails, how large of thumbnails would you like? I usually like them about 125 pixels. And here, if I want to have 10 pictures, let's say I want two columns by five rows. So I can specify how many columns and rows and whether I want borders on those pictures. And if I wanted titles, I could click, you know, what to use for those titles on the thumbnails. But in this case, I don't want titles on my thumbnails. 
custom colors for the text you can select custom colors I like to leave them with their defaults and for security you can actually indicate what what you would like for security uh, copyright information and so forth and I usually just leave that at none at this point you just click OK and Photoshop starts in the automated process it goes and selects each picture it uh, optimizes those based on the settings that you had input it makes the little thumbnail files and builds web pages for each one um, when it gets through all those it takes longer if you've got larger file sizes and it goes through much more quickly if you've got smaller file sizes and uh, the nice thing about it is you don't have to worry about it because Photoshop is doing all the work from here on out and it's just about through here and when it's done it brings you up a picture of what your web page looks like so here we are with the completed uh, web page here's your title that it was used here are all the pictures notice that it's in two columns um, the nice thing about it is now if you click on that it uh, brings up the larger pictures and of course you have a pop-up blocker it's going to warn you because it's using an active x control um, here's your picture of ted nice large picture uh, here's the information i typed in ted cowan in 1927 isn't he cute and the nice thing about this is then you can scroll through all of your pictures uh, in sequence well, you don't have to go back and click on any uh, thumbnails but you can uh, and it shows uh, very nicely optimized pictures for the web so that's the web page that it created and then you just simply take the folder that they were saved in and upload that to your, uh, your whatever uh, service that is offering your pictures and you have your ability to put your pictures on the web and that's what I do for my own web page I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to have more soon thanks